stuff I saw. It is bad, all the stuff I saw. And I would not ask for what I saw, some things I saw to young men, some things I saw to young women, to ever happen to any young man or young woman. I really hope it doesn't. That's what I'm trying to do here. Since this happened, your view on fraternities has changed, but is it all bad, bad memories? With KDR, uh, there's not very many good ones. Um, there are a lot of good fraternities, a lot of good sororities. Uh, there's a lot of bad ones as well. There's good and bad people, it's the same thing. It's really, who do you want to be around, good people or bad people? Right now there's a lot of bad things happening in a lot of fraternities around the country. I mean, we're seeing it all the time. You know, it's, maybe it's time to start getting these bad people out of some good fraternities, and maybe make fraternities back to what they were meant to be, you know, helping the community, helping service, stuff like that. So see what we can do with this, but just really want to help raise awareness to the issue being brought up here. I just want to note, you know, it's not, the timing is not bad. I mean, students are going back to campus right now. Uh, the fraternity season on many college campuses, including Penn State, really starts now. Uh, by the second or third week of September, uh, if you're interested in a fraternity, you're actively involved in pursuing that. So uh, that's why the third week of September is anti-hazing prevention, or, or anti-hazing week. And you know, so we're trying to uh, we're trying to do what we have to do here to document what happened for James's legal claims. But the timing actually is quite is quite perfect because this is the time when parents are sending their kids to school, not just those who are going to pledge to a fraternity like this, but also their daughters who are going to be the ones coming to parties at fraternities like this. And most parents just don't know what's going on. And one thing we know already, one thing we talked about inside, in fact, was the importance of secrecy, keeping this entire process in the dark. As long as uh, what goes on in the house stays in the house, and James talked inside about how when you were inside this fraternity house, it was as if anything could go on, anything could happen and you'd be safe. Nothing that would go on inside that house would ever happen outside. But once you were inside, it was okay. Parents need to know what's going on. Parents need to know so they can talk to their kids. Kids need to have the ability to talk about it with their families, talk about it with each other. As long as it stays in the dark, that's not going to happen. So here we are in the daylight, the beginning of a new school year. Should have been James's senior year. Um, Unfortunately, it's not, but it's not, it's not too late to try to do something about it, and, and that's why we're here. So Penn State has stated 